Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome to Tech World Vlogs on Tesla. I know it's been a while since I released a new tech review product, but I've been traveling a lot uh, for the last set of videos. I was in Cuba, so if you haven't done so already, check out those videos in Cuba. I had an amazing time. And now I'm back here with some more tech review products. Um, and if you haven't done so already, 97% of you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Right, let's get right into it. Uh, so the product I'm reviewing today is the DJI RS3 Mini. Uh, what this product is, this is a gimbal stabilization for your camera, um, especially when you're traveling or you're doing any outdoor videography or you're having a, to do a wedding shoot, whatever the case may be, anything that requires mounting one of these DSLR camera, uh, you will want to get one of these image stabilization gimbal. Uh, the beauty of these gimbal is they have three axes, which allows the, gim the camera to be centered while you're moving around, around the subject. So you can get still uh, photos and videos um, and you can make creative content with one of these here. Um, the reason why I'm up for this here is that I do have a small camera. Uh, this is, uh, don't judge me, it's a T4i, which is a legendary camera. And on this camera, I have an 18 to 135 lens. Uh, so it's lightweight for most DSLR camera. Um, and this uh, DJI RS3 Mini, it's capable for only light or small uh, cameras. So if you're having like those professional cameras, they, this will not be the product for you. This is if you're really getting into videography uh, and you have a small camera, this will be the ideal product for that. Um, and you make great still videos. And if you're looking for short clip videos with professional stabilization, this is the best I've seen. Uh, let's open it. Let's see what's inside. have the screw here that uh, allows you to connect your camera mount onto the gimbal mount and then there's some USB-C charging cable uh, really like that they have the angled USB charging cable as well as the straight USB charging cable it's pretty cool and this is the gimbal mount so uh, right off the bat it is very very lightweight portable um, and then it has a few features like the zoom option is right here, which is pretty cool. Um, it does have the trigger mount here um, and it has a beautiful LCD screen. Uh, start button, all the joystick LCD screen um, and it has the lock. So this is so beautiful. I love a lot of the uh, functionality of this here but it does take uh, it does look intimidating from the looks of it uh, you just have to take your time to understand how to use this product because it could be daunting to know how to lock unlock and all the various functionalities A unique feature about this product here it is actually bluetooth built in so no longer the days where you have to buy an extra accessory uh, to get bluetooth transfer from the gimbal this actually has built-in Bluetooth, which functions amazing um, for fast transfer and just transmission uh, to other device. Also has a USB-C uh, port here, which is pretty interesting. Um, and that's something that would be very useful um, for using your camera mount. Um, it has the lock here, which allows you to position the gimbal um, front or back, depending on the weight of your camera and you can lock this uh, at any part to balance your camera. A um, Couple other feature here, it does have a lock here, which allows you to slide horizontal to figure out exactly where you want your camera to be centered. Another locking feature right here, which you can lock it, uh, but if you unlock it, it allows you to go up. Um, depends on the weight of your camera to get different angle. You can go up or down. Uh, if you unlock this here, you can see you can go from side to side locking, which is pretty cool, um, depending on the angle you're trying to shoot. Once you figure out the angle, you can lock it, and then you have the gimbal floating. Um, and all the locks are actually 
right here so you can see the lock and unlock button that built-in lcd screen is really useful for in changing settings changing all the positioning um, and the power button is right here so that being said let's get right into it it took me about 20 minutes to get the pan the tilt and the roll axis balance you do want to spend some time balancing your camera uh, which is pretty uh unique because once you balance it you don't want to change that setting uh, it does create a lot of weight. Uh, this is the first time for me using um, a gimbal for my DSLR. And after holding for like 10 minutes, you can definitely feel that weight in your hand. But the footage that it takes, the video it takes is just awesome. Clean, um, beautiful cinematic um, grabs of footage. Uh, the B-roll that you can use with this here to take at a wedding or event will be fantastic. Um, and it doesn't matter how much jerking or wrong, that image is always stable with this uh, two awesome motor that's built into this gimbal stabilization. Um, and the other thing I would say is that it really depends on the camera that you have. Uh, if you have one of those newer cameras with the um, mirrorless technology, which is lighter, uh, on full frame, um, this will be ideal in terms of weight distribution. For the older DSLR, it does get a little bit heavy, so I would definitely encourage getting a newer camera, um, especially the mirrorless camera, and the lens that you use. Currently, I'm using an 18 to 135, which sticks out a bit. Uh, it did make it very difficult to balance. Uh, I did have to try a different, a lot of settings to get it balanced. But that being said, if you're looking to get into gimbal stabilization and using Ronin, uh, this is the best entry level Ronin to get. Uh, has a ton of features. Only feature this doesn't have compared to the uh, older uh, Ronin is the swappable battery. This battery is rated for 10 hours um, and the newer or the older uh, professional uh, Ronin is rated for 12 hours and you can swap the battery within footage. Uh, if you're not looking for that and you're looking for a 10 hour gimbal this will be ideal it does have bluetooth and it's compatible with a lot of cameras even if you can't use bluetooth it does have uh, a usb port here on the gimbal which transfer that footage onto your camera and takes the feed of the uh, camera onto the gimbal so it does have ways to work around it but you definitely want to upgrade your camera to a new modern camera to maximize some of the features of the gimbal one thing i could not figure out how to use was the focus here um i know on newer cameras you can use this wheel to focus or zoom but this was not compatible with my camera but that's something that's really unique to have is using this to do that focusing would be fantastic um but again you do want to upgrade to those newer cameras a lot of love for this gimbal it is a great price compared to all the other Ronin. it's one of the best price out there and if you're looking for something to get started in gimbal uh, stabilization i highly recommend this here i love the footage um, and hopefully you can invest in this here if you're getting into that creative industry that being said like subscribe and we'll see you on the next video